say I just landed in New York, about to head to OC Commissioner Stern um, up in Midtown. John Zare. Come on in, guys. My name is John Zare Jackson, 15. Play for a team called North Coast Blue Chips. LeBron James' son also plays on that team. Okay, good. Sit down, relax. Where are you in high school? I'm in, I'm not in high school. What are you in? I'm in A. Boy, they're growing up big these days. And what grade is LeBron's son in? A. Okay, so now I'm dealing with an eighth grader who looks like an NBA player. That's pretty cool. Hey. Do you have a team? I guess, you, does your school have a team that you're playing for? Um, actually, I'm, I'm homeschooled. You're homeschooled and you're basketball school. I'm homeschooled and I play AAU, so it's travel basketball. And what kind of shoes you wear? Uh, Jordan 11. And does your traveling team have a Arrangement with Nike? Yes. So what do you like about basketball? Um, I like to compete. I like the energy in the game. At first I really didn't like it, but then I found a passion for it, so. You didn't like it because you felt you were doing it because you were a certain size? I didn't like it because it was a lot of hard, hard work. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard work, discipline, teamwork. You up for that? Yeah, and then I kind of bite into it and started like you know, working hard. You know, they're buying into it all over the world. And if you play and, and after the draft and you play, you're gonna get to see the world. That's what happens when you're an NBA player. NBA has a league in Africa, they've played games in China, they play in Europe, they play in Latin America. It could be the, uh, your ticket to the world. So this is when we went to South Africa and met with Nelson Mandela and he understood completely that basketball could bring people together. This is when I was at a graduation in, at Columbia University with the champ, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. That one is when we were uh, in China in a refugee camp in Shanghai and this is President Clinton and this is Red Holtzman, Red Auerbach and me. Yao Ming, he was just here a few months ago. He's about seven foot five. And that's uh, an NBA game in Shanghai. NBA game? An NBA game in Shanghai. Colin Powell, Ron Brown, Quincy Jones, and that's me and Mark Cuban, where he says, David, you made me, thank you. This is what the champion gets, the Larry O'Brien Trophy. This is the only one that is not in a team's showcase. I got this. You have to be commissioner for 30 years to get your own. Um, I'm going to give him something for coming in. It's an out big guy. You may have to pump it up. We don't have that many of these left. This says, this is positive proof that you were here because that basketball has my name on it rather than Commissioner Silver's. Thank you. I'm going to sign it up for you. How do I spell your name? J-A-H-Z-A-R-E. Z-R-E? Z-A. Z-A. R-E. Jazair. Yes. Why don't you say so? That's easy. That's me. David J. Stern. Thank you. Don't get it on this stuff. Use it in good health. Okay. So, have you been homeschooled throughout? Yeah, just pretty much all middle school. That's, I mean, I went to elementary. And how is that working out for you? Um, it's working out pretty good because it works with my basketball schedule. So I can do work on the go, and then when I'm not at, when I'm not out of town, I get to go see my teacher and talk to her. Is it one teacher that does all of it for you? Yes. Are you a good student? Yeah, I, yes I am. I, I wish I had a, a court here I would play with you, <laughs> just to test your skills. He's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, he looks pretty good. And he's 
And he's pretty articulate too. You went, did you see any of the videos of him at uh, the takeover event, going against I, the bigger guys? Yeah, no, but he's, he, he goes against bigger guys. Older guys. A lot of bigger guys than how tall are you? Seven feet. Yes, okay, I believe it. Turn around, <laughs> let me just see. Hey guys, how do I measure up against him? Am I almost as tall? How, how tall were you in the sixth grade? About six one, six two. So you had a pretty good growth spurt. Yeah. Like a f almost a foot, ten inches in two years. You have any questions for me? Um. Yeah, I have a couple questions. Uh, how did it feel to uh, run the NBA? It was great. I did it for thirty years. When I started, I was the twenty fourth employee. So we were a small organization, but we got bigger. And gradually, our players got to be more famous and more looked up to. And now, like say LeBron, and even older, even players are retired. Paul Pierce and Shaq are all you know, looked up to, both as NBA players and as experts beyond the game. Did you already know that like certain people were going to be at where they are right now, or no? No. It's, it depends how hard they work. It depends how they develop. And uh, a lot of players pleasantly surprised us. But also, it's great to see that the NBA is starting a league in Africa, and so there are going to be more players coming from different places. And I think next season there'll probably be over a hundred players born outside the U.S. on the rosters on, on opening day, which is what makes it more competitive, you know. Yes. How is it like to like get booed every time you got one on the court? I mean, you know, on the stage. Uh, you mean on the draft? You know, you're the you're not the first person that asked me that. I kind of enjoy it because it got to be a thing. Good evening. And thank you for that enthusiastic Brooklyn welcome. And uh, I would encourage it in some way, but I, as I explain, as I explain to the fans on television, that that's the way you express admiration in Brooklyn. You boo. I, I just made it up, but that's what you know. It's a sign of affection, admiration, and respect. But that's okay. I, as you can tell, it doesn't bother me at all. Never did, never will. I like traveling. It's... I'm getting used to it now. I used to never travel a lot, but now I'm traveling. So now you travel with the team, right? Yes. You don't snore, do you? Um, they say I tend to snore, but... I've got the same issue. I don't hear it. Me either. Okay, so I don't know what they're talking about, right? You know, when you travel, what do you play? Two games a day or one game a day? Uh... Maybe like four to five. Four to five games a day? Yeah. Like, I just came back from Miami at this tournament called Bowling on the Beach. Yeah. And the first day I played three games, and then the second, get, second day I played six. I don't know. Be careful, that's all. What do you do now that you're not the commissioner? I am dealing with an investment bank, a venture capital company and a whole bunch of startups in the sports technology space. So I'm trying to see what television is gonna look like in the future, and also to see whether there are some technological advances that will improve player health. Because imagine if every player suddenly could have an, a year added to his career because we could help him with his health. Um, well, I really like to thank you for having me come by your office and talking to me, giving me some advice. I really well, appreciate it. I'm I'm very glad that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it probably as much as you did. And if you ever have any issues, just give me a buzz and come on in. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Good luck to you. Thanks. It's so great meeting Commissioner Stern. You know, a lot of people don't get to meet the commissioner of the NBA. So it was a great opportunity. He actually gave me some good advice, how to conduct myself. He gave me one of his basketballs and he wrote my name on it and said, hoop it up. And he put his signature, David Stern. So that was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting him to do that. 
I'm gonna put it in a glass case and just keep it there because a lot of people don't get a basketball from the ex-commissioner and get to meet him. So that was a great opportunity. That boy good. He learned from Larry. Ha. If you wanna see more videos like that, check him right here. And also click subscribe. Why you haven't done that? You know the way. OT way.